The other interesting thing about polycystic ovary is that almost every woman that has polycystic ovary almost always has something called insulin resistance. What this means is when you eat a carbohydrate, your blood sugar goes up and your body doesn't like it at that level. It wants to regulate it here. And so it releases something called insulin that will lower that blood sugar into the normal range. When we have insulin resistance, we eat the carbohydrate, the sugar goes to here, this much insulin is not enough to lower the sugar, it takes this much. What is peculiar to me, but high insulin levels go to the ovary and cause it to make more testosterone, which makes polycystic ovary worse. So what we found over the years is that you can treat people with polycystic ovary with diabetic medicines such as metformin to try to lower the insulin so that they lower their testosterone so that we can get them to ovulate. Now the other thing that's important in polycystic ovary with insulin resistance is to understand there are good carbs and there are bad carbs. And we try to teach uh, the woman the difference between good carbs and bad carbs. A good carb will make your insulin and your glucose go up slowly and come down slowly. A bad carbohydrate, like a candy bar, will make the insulin and the sugar spike. These high spikes cause the testosterone in the ovary to go up. So we will educate the woman on good carbs, bad carbs, insulin resistance. And then the last thing is, exercise will lower insulin. And so if we can lower their insulin with diet, exercise, uh, and maybe metformin, we can get many of these women with polycystic ovary to ovulate without having to deal with uh, ovulation induction and other infertility treatments.